Good luck. Welcome back to week, I think, 204 of the teaching ladder. Um, we get to play a higher rated opponent and a lower rated opponent and review the game afterward. And what more could be wanted? What more could one want with that? Uh, let's try this. Mm hmm. Okay. I know this is Joseki, I just don't remember the full justification for it. <clears throat> hmm. Let's attempt a castle here. Hmm. I've played this before. And from here, I'm out of book. Um. Hmm. I want to float the rook, but I think a bishop drop is most inconvenient here. I'm concerned about an exchange and not knowing what to do next. Hmm. Especially if I make a target here. <sighs> yeah, what am I supposed to do? I have no idea. When in doubt, castle is my proverb and I have doubt so I think this is sensible Let me just double check things are set up right they appear to be cool Okay. Oh, I should have exchanged this a while ago. Let's do this then. Yeah, they don't need to capture it. Um, hmm. My capturing here is probably best, but I trust that my opponent knows what they're doing. In the unlikely event that somehow they don't know what they're doing, I will stand corrected very quickly. Um... So now I've built a castle. This is a good development. Did I have a better development? That I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to go down a pawn for nothing here. So I take this. Um, and my thought again is just dropping the rook back here, but even though I'm concerned about a bishop drop and bishop takes here. Oh, the bishop covers the square, too. So my thoughts of trying to make a cheapo based on some tactic here um, are just the beginnings of musings. I could block the diagonal. But then they push and then drop and push again. Which doesn't seem super great. Um, could drop back one. It's awkward, but 
avoids tactics. Yeah. Um, could drop all the way back. I'm just afraid the pawn's going to promote and create some complications. But what better do I have? Don't understand. Yeah, like this looks like a really good score for the rook. And as much as I trust my opponent, none of this is making sense. Uh, the bishop drop prevents, well, it doesn't prevent rook here. Yeah, I don't understand this. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to have to dive into the heart of it to find out what's going on here. Like, this move is obvious, or at least to me it feels that way. And I don't know what they're plotting, and that's got me concerned. Um, but on the other hand, like, I can't find a better move here, so I'm going to play what looks to fall into some sort of like bishop drop and lots of tactics kind of tricky situation, but like the tactics just seemingly don't come anywhere close to working out for them. I think they're trying to coerce me into myself capturing on uh, 2-2. Um, but that just doesn't seem to be an effective use of time because it helps them continue building a castle. Which is not one of my goals. It's, I want to build my castle, and I've done so. I don't want to build their castle. Uh... Yeah, this is the tricky part. It's like, what do I do here? I could drop the rook and hit the pawn. They're intending this bishop drop fork, but then I take here. Yeah, I don't understand this. I go... I do not... Something about this doesn't make sense. Which pawn should I be attacking with my rook? This one? And then bishop drop, but this gold is protected twice. Feels like this is the one I should attack, because there's no way to defend it. But then my opponent builds some initiative somehow. Yeah, I don't see what's going on here. If they had one more tempo, this would be collapsing faster. Like here, the only thing that can defend this would either be the bishop or the king. And dropping the bishop to defend this is kind of wasteful. It might get the bishop trapped. But the bishop wants to be on this color complex anyway. Um, so it might not be super wasteful. There's the exchange. 
Okay, so they're just offering this pawn. And if I take it, they bring the silver up, and, like, they've made some progress, but I get a pawn. It's not the worst exchange. I wanted something better, mind you, but I just didn't see anything better. So we'll just create this hole. And then drop back. Now this is kind of loose. Not so easy to aim at because if I drop a bishop to hit this and then bring the rook over, they'll just push it. So, still a tricky game lies ahead, but I've got one weakness, and that's that this file's wide open, minus the silver. Um, on the other hand, my rook's going to get kicked around quite a bit, and it's not clear how I step forward without creating tons of weaknesses. And they are doing everything they can to defend against a bishop drop, so... Um, yeah, this is going to be tough. Oh, there's something interesting I could do here. Bring the knight out. Knight takes pawn, rook takes, and then exchange rooks. At the cost of just a single knight. That could be interesting. If I do that, they probably just bring this gold up here. Well, it doesn't completely solve the problem. Um... Plus, if I bring the knight out, they can just drop a bishop back here and threaten this. Which is inconvenient. Um, we'll make this window for my king and simultaneously push on this castle. Yeah. Um... Plus a rook drop back here is not decisive anyway. What can I do? I could just outright, yeah, open the file. Um, push, take, 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 drop. Oh, they give some lance. That might be premature. Um, yeah, we could exchange here and then drop the bishop here. Threaten the lance and the pawn. They defend the pawn, I take the lance back. Um, doesn't do a whole lot. Hmm. 
I could push and then drop here. It doesn't do much more. All right, we're going to try this. I just don't have any other ideas, unfortunately. Like, the timing of this is perfect. The idea is anything but perfect. Um, but, like, anything else I can push just damages my position. So we're going to try this. I guess I just accept that I've probably messed up in some major way somehow, but I just, I don't know what else I could have tried here. I looked and looked and looked and looked and could not find even a can. Well, I found candidate moves, but none of them ever looked any good. between this being cluttering this rank and this castle not being completed and I, I just could not find a square for my bishop so here we are I think after I take the lance I can threaten to do something here but also drop the bishop to threaten something there um so mm -hmm. Maybe I have an idea. Yeah, anything I push opens something for this bishop to drop. This lance doesn't seem to help them too much unless there's some place to put it that I just haven't accounted for. The rook is blocked by the pawn.
and moving the silver hangs this without offering any immediate benefit. So, yeah, this seemed like the only path forward. Even if it did cost me a pawn. And I was up a pawn in the first place, so now the position's even. I don't want to admit it. I really don't want to admit that it's even. Because I've been trying to play well and get a nice position here, but I don't have anything better than even here. Even though I'm playing Santa. They've always had this bishop drop back here that, like, promotes back in the corner. Maybe I needed to prioritize defending against that, but I don't know. I am threatening the lance drop, pawn drop, lance takes, silver takes, rook takes. Oh, they... They are going to have multiple lances that they could take my rook with. Um, that's I'd have to pin the lance. They have some way to break the pin, probably. Mm -hmm. I could also just try continuing to push on this edge file and pray for whatever happens. Oh. Interesting. That's pretty wild. Um. Hmm. Hmm. So many ideas. All right, down the rabbit hole we go. If we drop the pawn, yeah, I get my rook trapped. I'm not allergic to that. I could get two silvers and a pawn for a lance and a rook. 
and I have an attack. Um, okay. What's the silver doing? I guess it does control space. The long-awaited bishop drop. Was this the concept? Thirds devoted to trying to win my rook. Something doesn't add up. Hmm. What is... Oh, okay. That's what they're trying to do. Interesting. I'm going to do this dubious looking thing. Um, the hidden agenda is to promote the bishop right next to this, but also maybe just promote this directly and then drop a bishop and hit this way. They might double lances toward my king, which looks spooky, but then lets me aim my bishop directly here. If they don't double lances, I can sack here and then drop here and collect a lance. Of course, there's the path number three that I didn't account for. It's fine, though, I think. Sanjubio. 
30秒。I think I'll be okay. I'm probably wrong, but I think I'll be fine. 40秒。Oh, welcome. Welcome, just as we hit a very exciting moment in this game. Man, I wish I had better than what I have here. What I have is still good, though. If this gold general blocks, uh, I can retreat. I don't need to go bonsai here and sack this. Yeah, so I'm just going to retreat again. This game's been one big festival of hurrying up and waiting. And hurrying up and waiting. But yes, welcome. Hopefully you guys enjoy this game.
30秒40秒50秒1 Alright Our rook has found Sabaki Maybe Maybe not At first, this looks clever, but it doesn't solve everything. Okay, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Hmm. I could take the pawn. I don't know why I would, but like, why are they offering me it? It's completely free. At least for now. I don't need a pawn. I don't know why they offered this. But I really don't want them activating this instantly as soon as my rook moves. So I'm actually taking this. Even though it looks crazy. I don't actually have a gold general in hand like I thought I did. I keep counting this like a gold, I guess. It's not a gold, it's just a promoted pawn. I am going to get this and the silver pretty soon. I don't have it yet, though. This is so crazy.
What is my opponent doing? Maybe they were betting on silver drop on this square. I don't know. Seems like a hefty wager. But yeah, as soon as I promote, yes, they can hit my rook. But now this bishop can no longer hit the rook on this square. They might plug this file, but I can sack the horse to force it open again. Or I could even sack the rook and then take back with the horse and be attacking the castle from both flanks. I just, this doesn't make sense. What? I have mate, right? It's not so easy. This is a mate threat. Thanks for a game. It's a relief. I've won a game on 81 Dojo. I think I can be proud of this. It's not as if some cheap boat decided the game. I actually played reasonably well throughout, I think. I am relieved to win a game. Um, so yeah, following each game, uh, we get to do a post-game review. Um, yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this is a wild game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The timing of my move certainly suggests I was confused. Hmm. Uh Yeah, uh
I was expecting somehow some tactic was just going to completely ruin my day. And unlike Shogi Wars here, um, I was just fine. Uh, I was astonished that, like, from beginning to conclusion, it seemed like I was fine this game. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is a critical position. This I spent a lot of time thinking about because I couldn't easily figure it out. Oh. Uh. Yeah, this is I guess a more typical way of handling this sort of situation. And yeah, they had prepared for that. They prepared very well. Yeah. We're gonna... Yeah. No, this rook move makes more sense. Oh wow, this looks tricky. Hmm. Yeah. Here I'd given up. Right. Oh, the, let's see. Okay. Good point, transport. I'll try not to get too discouraged. I've been having some challenges in this teaching ladder too, but it's fine. Um, so, yeah. Right, so they managed to complete their castle here. Yeah, so this was the timing for me to try something. Mm. This definitely was the one timing. Um, I wasn't going to let this slip, even if I didn't know what I was doing. Um, yeah, I had to try something. Uh, yeah, I don't know what we missed. We both missed something. This whole game just seems a bit, um, there's always this thing, um, oh, okay. That's why this didn't happen. Okay. Yeah, I see. Jeez. Yeah, my rook on this fourth rank seems to do a lot of work. Um. Yeah, I guess if they broke that open, that might be a different matter. Um. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, this... Yeah, this is hard to defend. Well... Yeah. Yeah. 
But yeah, my attack just seemed to cut like a hot knife through butter here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, that splits up most of their shape. Uh, this is worth trying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know why I missed that combination. That's like a three-move combination. Like them sacking a lance, silver takes, and then they have the bishop fork. I guess I could move my rook to be protected by the silver. And so, like, I preserve material for a short while, and they manage to promote their rook, and it's a hot mess. Um, this is probably the, my safer way about it, but it's still ugly. Yeah, I don't think they saw this lance drop. Um, pretty sure they missed it. Yeah, I was afraid of making some kind of goof up and then my whole advantage just disappears. But uh didn't happen for once. So lucky me. Um yeah, this is just super difficult for the opponent here. And figuring out bishop takes pawn and then retreating my bishop was the way to go. It really was. This whole, like, check gold blocks and then retreat and then bringing the rook over and taking that empty space. Um, uh, it, it definitely worked out. Uh, I could actually give study main host back. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, the edge attack really had me confused throughout. It worked out super well. Which just really surprises me. Because uh, I've not seen this kind of... Yeah. I looked everywhere else on the board first. Ruled out everything else and then realized, well, it's got to be the edge then. But um, maybe it's not. Maybe I was wrong. There might have been something better. But, I mean, it worked. Yeah. Um yeah, I don't mind the short review. Yeah, it's totally fine. This is a fun event. Yeah, and I'm not judging whatsoever. Uh, maybe in a different game, uh, under different circumstances, maybe I could judge. But here, it 
I completely get it. It's great that they were able to accommodate my schedule. Um, and I don't know that either of us knows what to say about this game. I'm sure a good part of our audience really has a solid grasp of what happened. Um, and if not, I could always ask Lily. Uh, she'll have a fun time helping us figure this out, too. But yeah, this seemed like a critical position. Um, yeah, my opponent had suggested that usually we see something like this, but he was prepared for this. But I had enough pawns, I uh, his up two pawns in hand already. So I figured, since like I can't find any way to make progress anywhere else on the board, I've got to just exchange like this. this this caveman attack is to work. And it did work. Maybe it should have worked, maybe not. I don't know, but they haven't completed their castle, so, like, I needed to do something. And this seemed like the only thing I could find. So, I did consider as many bishop drops as I could think of, and none of them ever looked appetizing. I tried super hard to find something else, and just couldn't. So, this is the way we went. Um, then I didn't want to exchange the lance after going through all this trouble to get a lance. I didn't want to just exchange it back right away, but what else can I do? Um, yeah, this is their plan was to hit my rook and, uh, they did hit the rook. They hit it again. And unfortunately, yeah, this just didn't coordinate well enough. So, um... Yeah, this is clever. Um, I was thinking promoting this bishop over here actually means something. I was trying to tell myself that. It looks that way. But once the king retreats and the gold moves over, like the king could just dance its way out over here. So I'm not so sure that promoting the bishop here means a great deal. Um... Yeah, I was concerned about them protecting this somehow. Oh, they might even do this. And then if I promote over here, like, what am I doing? I don't know. Oh, I have a, another promotion threat. Oh. Okay, so that's the complication here. Is I have multiple promotion threats and I have the silver drop threat, but I don't know if this is clear cut because they have a lance. Um, but if I take the bishop and they take my rook, I promote with, or I take here. That's not immediately mating. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's mate. So this doesn't save everything. So moving the gold is actually not safe. During the game, this is what occurred to me. Uh, I was thinking about this then. Um, but this didn't occur to me. Um, maybe another idea is even this. Um, then I was saying something like this. Oh, wait, wait a second. I gave my opponent an extra move when I was evaluating this in my head. Okay, actually, yeah, this is a big threat. But they have a lance. They can try to stave that off, and then I promote here. Um, and I guess I'm threatening a pawn. <laughs> They're invading. I don't know. It still doesn't seem completely clear-cut to me. Um, it feels like there's a lot going on this game, and that this is just one variation. I'm sure in other positions there were other variations. I think my best guess, like somewhere around here, um, yeah, before I get my rook on this rank, uh, I'd expected them... Wait, why is this do? I don't know what this does. 
other than try to guard against bishop drops, but it leaves this square open for a bishop drop, so I don't know what this does. I guess it tries to defend against bishop drop ideas. Um, but at some point I expected them to just push this pawn, and this gets ugly. Um, and maybe I'm re relying on tactics to make this work out somehow. Uh, I don't know. Should expend some effort, but not too much, because I'm not going to solve Shogi overnight. Um, but, like, oh, they have this. Okay, so this is playable for me. I'm not dead. If I go, well, after they capture here, if I move this way, uh, this is not super great. I mean, unless I have some way to pick up the pawn, and I don't think I do. Um, even if I did, that wouldn't be super great either. So, I was expecting them to open the Rook's file. Uh, and somehow it just didn't turn out that way. And this was the end result. Uh, I sacked for the gold with the threat of gold drop mate. And that was a good enough. So, yeah, what a game. Um, so we'll look forward to playing more teaching ladder games in the future. Not every game has to be perfect. Um, it is nice to win one once in a while. So yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you around.